Hey, what's up, Royal Kids? How you doing today? My name is Detective Santos, and we are here in our new series called Speak and See, uncovering the power of your words. And how many of you know that there are power in our words? Psalms 18 actually says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Guess what, Royal Kids? Today, we'll be looking at clues in the Bible for words that encourage. And what is encouragement? It's simply this. Encouragement is what we need when we feel like giving up. But it's also what we can give when others feel like giving up. Let me share a quick story with you. Recently, my family and I got to go to a water park. There was little slides and there was big slides. And we decided to go up the biggest slide there was. My wife, my son, my daughter, and myself. And we were ready to go. And the count of three, we're, we're all gonna go down a slide. One, two, three, and we went all the way down. And then I looked and my daughter was still up there. And I thought to myself, man, I'm gonna have to go climb up those stairs and pick her up. But we decided to encourage her. Come on, Izzy, you can do it. Come on, girl, you got this, you got this. And I could see the fear in her eyes. But all of a sudden, she went down fast and fast. Whoosh, 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 splash. She made it to the bottom. I picked her up and I was so proud of her. And I told her, Izzy, how did you find the courage to go down the slide? And she said, I did it. The lifeguard pushed me. Guess what, Royal Kids? Encouragement comes in the form of words, but it also might feel like a push. So let's see what the Bible says about encouragement. In the book of Deuteronomy 31, verse seven and eight, it says this. Then Moses called for Joshua, and as all Israel watched, he said to him, be strong and courageous. I'm gonna say that one more time because it's super good. Be strong and courageous, for you will lead these people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors he would give them. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Royal kids, those were some powerful words, words full of encouragement. Actually, those words aren't just for Joshua. They're actually for me and for you. Words that say, be strong and courageous. See, when you encourage someone, you actually give them courage. Royal kids, have you ever tried to do something for the first time, like going to a new school or playing a new sport or even trying to make a new friend, right? Those can all seem a little bit scary to do, but you know what? We need to find encouragement. We need to find power in our words. And today I'm going to try to do something for the first time that I've never tried before. See, I got this cup of water and this piece of cardboard and I'm going to flip this cup over and I'm hopefully nothing's going to spill. But you know what, Royal Kids? It's my first time doing this and I need your help. So wherever you're at, I'm going to ask you to stand up on your feet. If you're at church, stand up on your feet. If you're at home in Honolulu, Chicago, wherever you might be at today, I need you to stand up on your feet, all right? And I need you to encourage me. Are you ready? Let's go. At the count of three, I'll flip this cup over. Ready? One. Come on, Royal Kids. I need you to get loud. Louder than that. Here we go. Come on. There you go. Nice. Two. Let's go, Royal Kids. I need your encouragement. Ready? The Bible says be strong and courageous. Royal Kids, it's time to be strong and courageous. One, two, three. All right, here we go. It's not gonna go. Oh, here we go, yes. Perfect. See, no drips. All right, Royal Kids. Yes, I was a little bit afraid, but you know what? With your words of encouragement, I did it. I did it. Royal kids, there's power in our words. And today we will speak and we will encourage. So with that said, let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your words in the Bible. And we thank you, Lord, for that message that Moses gave to Joshua, to be strong and courageous. 
And it's not just for Joshua, but it's for every royal kids here. Be strong and courageous. When you feel afraid, be strong and courageous. The gift of encouragement isn't just for you, but it's for everyone else. In your name we pray and we all say yes and amen. All right, Royal Kids. Like I said, I'm Detective Santos and I'm gonna go to my next case. See you. Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube.